Well, good morning. Well, good morning. And you've just tuned into the morning devotion. <laughs> We're here to, here to encourage you through the word so that you might be strong, strong in the in fight. The faith. <laughs> <laughs> By a faith? By <laughs> Anyone, strong in the faith. <laughs> and, and live, live victoriously in Christ. Christ. <laughs> let's 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 try that again. Ready? <laughs> See, Janet, it works. Good morning. You've just tuned into the morning devotion. We're here to encourage you through the word so that you might be strong in the faith, faith and victorious. live a victorious life, life in, in Christ. Christ. Live victoriously in Christ. And I'm Randy. And I'm Matt. Back. Oh, that's because it was tucked <laughs> down a little bit. And yes, we have our own teleprompter. So good morning. I don't do good with things like that. We'll learn it. I mean, you got the back one. Well, never mind. I was going to say the end one. You, you don't have it down. But okay. it is September 29th. 2020. Wow, you need to move over quite a bit or something because I'm way off the camera. Scoot, scoot. Scoot, scoot. <laughs> Let's try that. Go ahead. Okay. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you for this day that you gave us. Lord, it is Tuesday. And Father, I pray that you would just put your hand upon us this day that we might, Lord, be in your presence. That your praise and, and worship and word may be upon our hearts all day. Let it rattle about in our minds, in our hearts, as we listen to your voice through the day. Guide us in everything that we say and everything that we do. Yes. We give you this day in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And Amen. I honestly could not remember what all I did yesterday because I had so many notes and I skipped around. So today I'm going to hit the scriptures that I had for yesterday. Um, we're continuing. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay. All right, Lil Don. <laughs> Good morning. So we're continuing um, a little bit on things about Yom Kippur. Some of the scriptures that would be pretty much explaining Yom Kippur and talking a little bit about Israel. I mean, it is... God's chosen people. Israel is, is God's. The Jews are God's people. Um, we have, Gentiles have been grafted in by the love and mercy of the Lord. We have to be careful, as it says in Romans chapter 11. That was not going to be in the beginning, but it's going to be in the beginning now. Romans 11.25 states it like this. It says, for I would not, brethren, for I would not, brethren, that you should be ignorant of this mystery, lest you should be wise in your own conceits, that blindness in part is happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles become. And so all Israel shall be saved, as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob for this is my covenant unto them when I shall take away their sins as concerning the gospel they are enemies for your sakes so right now there's this division they seem to be the enemies of the gospel but it's for the sake of the Gentiles but as touching the election they are beloved for the father's sake mm -hmm. they are still the chosen ones of God. Jewish people are still the beloved. Yes. So we, as Christians, have to be careful not to think, oh, look at us. They're, they're no, no, no. Mm -mm. They are still. They are still. When you get adopted into a family, that doesn't mean that you've just replaced. The family. The family. The, the children in the family. You've now been taken into that family and you are a child of that family just as the original blood children are. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful not to push down and speak against Israel and be harsh on the Jewish people. Because for a season, they may be blinded. But the day is coming. The day is coming when it'll be their turn. There's so many Jewish people coming to the Lord. There's so many whose eyes are being opened. But there is there is a group because things still have to happen. Bible prophecy still has to be fulfilled. 
a temple will be rebuilt. The worship has to happen. The, these things have to take place. Because what the Lord says will happen is going to happen. So no matter what we do, it's not going to change God's heart toward Israel. It is still his beloved. We are to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We are to help any way we can. They're a blessing to the nations. The yeah. inventions that come from Israel, from Jewish people, the aid that they give. You see, the news, just like the news doesn't say the good things that the Christian do, the news doesn't speak about the good things that Israel does either. We're in the same thing. We love the same God. So we can't expect all their good to come out in the media and we can't expect all the things that the Christians do come out in the media. It's just not going to be that way because we have a devil that hates us. Mm -hmm. We're in a battle. We're in a battle. But we win. Amen. And they win. So here's a few more scriptures. I mean, to think, I'm going back to the Old Testament now. Because these are things that the Jewish people hang on to. These are scriptures that, that keeps them going. It's brought down from generations to generations to remind them of who they are in the Lord and to keep their promises going. Isaiah 53, and I wrote them down just so that I can get through quicker or copied them down, however you want to say this, printed them out. Six minutes and 56 seconds. Now. Isaiah 53, 4 through 6 says, Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we seem esteem as we yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. Amen. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Amen. All we like sheep have gone astray. Mm -hmm. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity as of us all. We know that that's talking about the Messiah. We who know Jesus is our Lord and Savior understand that Jesus is the fulfillment of that. Some Jewish people understand that, have had their eyes open to where they could see that. We wouldn't have our New Testament if it wasn't for Jewish people whose eyes were opened to see the gospel. Paul was Jewish. Peter, Andrew, these were all Jewish. The gospel wasn't written by Christians. It was written by Jewish people who came to know the Lord. So we have to remember that sometimes in the church we forget. We think that all these were written by Christians. Yeah, but we call them Christians now because they were Christians, but they were Messianic Christians. They were Jews who received Jesus as the Messiah, who were, with a, through the Spirit of God, were able to see the truth yeah. that Jesus was the Messiah. So we have to honor that. Isaiah 66, 8 through 10 says, Who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Shall the earth be made to give birth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion was in labor, she gave birth to her children. Shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery, says the Lord? Shall I who cause delivery shut up the womb, says your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem and be glad with her, all you who love her. Rejoice for joy with her, all ye who mourn for her. God has not forgotten. He has not given, allowed to that pregnancy to happen and then stop it before it's birthed all the way. No. The Lord has a purpose for Israel. It is his chosen. He will redeem. He will redeem. Romans, well, I, already, I actually already read Romans, so we're ahead on that one. <laughs> You're almost to 10 minutes. And it, the the twins, Romans I already did. We're going to go to Psalms one twenty seven. We'll read. Excuse me, not one twenty seven. Psalms twenty seven. We're going to end up with that one. Psalm twenty seven. I know today's going fast. Um, a lot of scripture, but I just want you to understand 
That's that's the important part anyway. What the Jewish people anyway. use? Yes. What scriptures do they hang on? We hang on to our scriptures. You know, we have the New Testament because we understand that that is our now. But not all Jews understand that yet. But they do hang on to the word. The same blessings and psalms that we use to encourage us are the same ones that they go to for encouragement. So Psalms 27, this is, in the 18th century, it's a psalm that they started reading um, in the period of Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, just to carry them through this period. It says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. That scripture, that, that first verse there, um, they said the light is like Rosh Hashanah, the new year. And in Yom Kippur, they remember that God is their salvation. You know, it is through the repentance, the forgiving of the sins, and God's mercy and grace that they depend on during Yom Kippur. It says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Amen. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the defense of my life. Whom shall I dread? When evildoers come upon me to devour my flesh, my adversaries and my enemies, they stumbled and fell. Though a host encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war rise against me, in spite of this, I shall be confident. You can imagine Joshua, Caleb, you know, David in battle times, and so many that afterwards have come through, you know, always remembering that the Lord is their salvation. In Christ is what we can look back and say, in Christ we have salvation. But they knew, they had the Messiah. Like Matthew said last week, we were talking about, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Jesus was still working there, not as we know him, but he was still there as part of the Trinity. The Lord was there. The Spirit of the Lord fell upon the prophets at times as needed. I mean, it fell upon David when he killed Goliath. So that help was still there in the Old Testament as we have it now. We just now have it that it resides with us at all times. The Holy Spirit is here. It goes on and it says, one thing have I asked from the Lord that I shall seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. You know, they are waiting for that temple to be rebuilt. They're waiting for that time to be able to freely go. I mean, right now they have the wailing wall, but they're looking forward to that temple once again. For in the day of trouble, he will consume me in his tabernacle in the secret place of his tent he will hide me he will lift me up upon a rock and now my hand will be lifted up above my enemies around me and i will offer in his tent sacrifices with shouts of joy i will sing yes i will sing praises to the lord and be gracious hear o lord when i cry with my voice and be gracious to me and answer me when you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, O Lord, I shall seek. Yeah. Does our heart say that? Does our heart say, Lord, I seek you? Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my help. Do not abandon me nor forsake me, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me up. People will let you down. Maybe your parents let you down. But God will not. Amen. It says, Teach me your way, O Lord, and lead me in a level path because of my foes. Do not deliver me over to the desires of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen against me, and such as breathe out violence. I would have despaired unless I had believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and let your heart yes. take courage. Yes, wait for the Lord. Isaiah 45, 22 says this. This is what I wanted to end with. It says, look to me and be saved. 
all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. other. Amen. Thank you guys for joining us this God morning. God bless you. Keep, Keep a praise song, song in your heart. heart. And, and rejoice, rejoice in, in the Lord, Lord always. And, and again, again, I say rejoice. rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning we'll at tomorrow 7 morning. o'clock when I share a little bit about repentance. Yes. Blessings to all of you. Love you.